today I'm going to be sharing what I picked up at the Goodwill Outlet Bins in Jackson, Mississippi. It's my first time ever going to the Jackson, Mississippi Bins, and it's not going to be the last. They're not really close to me. Uh, it is a three-hour drive from my house. However, it was really, really good. I got in the car with one of my best reseller friends, Victoria, over at Super Geeked, and we headed on up to Jackson, Mississippi. We had a great time. We both got a great haul, and honestly, every time I get together with Victoria, it's fun. We have so much fun. So that six-hour car ride in one day was nothing for us. We talked the entire time. Funny enough, when we both checked out, the cashier told us, she was like, oh my God, you guys almost spent the exact same amount. I think we both spent $43. So she's actually going to share her thrift haul here on YouTube the same time I'm uploading this video. I'm going to link her video down below so you can see what she got for pretty much the same price I paid. So that'll be kind of like a cool comparison. We do source different things. So yeah, I'm excited to see what Victoria got, but let me go ahead and share what I picked up. And I'm going to start with my favorite item. Item first so they pulled out a bin full of Chico's my favorite is the Chico's travelers line that line by far does the best for me and I loaded up on six pairs of Chico's travelers pants they're all in the Chico size 3 which translates to a size extra large I could sell these individually but I have decided to go ahead and lock them up I'm gonna list them for $100 and I'm sure they're gonna go quick. They're all in really great condition. And they just look like this, uh, just a pair of, you know, like slinky, casual pants. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about these. I have started to list this stuff, so hopefully by the time you see this video, at least the majority will be listed. And this sold right away. I did pick up a couple swimsuits. I love to sell swimwear. And I picked this up basically just for style. Um, I think it may be vintage, but I'm really not sure. It's just a one piece and it is a kind of like a swim dress with a bikini bottom. There's how it looks on the inside. There is a stain right there that I did note. And this is by the brand. I've never sold this brand before. Um, Beach Cabana. So yeah, this sold right away. It has a cute little side tie right here and i want to say this sold for about 17 dollars on poshmark i thought this was a really fun piece i think i have this listed at 35 or 40 dollars it is 100 percent linen and i know a lot of people don't pick up this brand um, but i do like it it's just talbots but look at the style it's just a sweater cardigan with this floral print it even has it on the sleeves and it just is really nice. I think someone's really going to like this. I didn't see any stains, any holes, or anything like that whenever I was listing it. So yeah, I'm sure this one is going to do great. It may sit. This is probably more of a spring item. But yeah, I think it's really nice. So Victoria actually found what I'm about to show you. She doesn't sell men, so she gave these to me. I'm excited to see what Victoria got in her thrift haul because... I'm not really sure what she got. Whenever we go sourcing together, even though we're together, we're both in our own worlds. Let me know if you're like that whenever you go sourcing. Uh, but these are a pair of Gerbo jorts. They're in really good condition. I'll probably start these out maybe around like $40. Yeah, I didn't see any stains, anything like that. I love this spell out on the back. So yeah, really excited about these. Thank you, Victoria. I have a feeling this is going to go pretty quick. Um, it is Torrid. It's a 3X slash 4X. And it is a long, sheer, floral embroidered kimono. Really pretty embroidery here with the kimono sleeve. I just think this is a really, really nice piece. I think I have this listed for $30 or $35. Uh, but yeah, in fabulous condition, so we love that. I love to pick up Torrid. I know um, some people don't like to pick up Torrid, but for me, it's a really fast-moving brand, so you know I grabbed it. So this next piece is going to be a learning lesson for me and you, and I knew this. However, we all make mistakes, right? So I should have actually already sold this yesterday when I listed it. However, like I said, I made a mistake. So this is Chico's, okay? Okay. And it's just, this is actually, I think this is still on their website. Uh, they call this the kimono, something the kimono. It's in my listing, uh, but yeah, it's just a basic 
like Chico's, you know, open front cardigan. It's really pretty. It has like this leaf print on it. Then it has like some metallic going down here at the netted part. So if you're not aware, you're not supposed to use Chico stock photos on eBay. I know that you probably know that, or if you don't, now you do. I made a mistake and I put in a stock photo because whenever I saw this on the website, I was like, whoa, that stock photo is great. It really captured the metallic, which was really hard to capture on my mannequin when I was taking photos. Um, I don't use a lot of stock photos, probably maybe five to 10% of my photos, I use stock photos. Um, so anyway, I should have known better. I got an offer for this right away. I should have accepted it because eBay pulled down this listing. I did not get a Vero, thank God, but they did give me a warning not to use stock photos for Chico's. So anyway, I have this listed. I listed it back up this morning and hopefully that person that sent the offer will find it again. I wish I would have took a screenshot of her name or something or his name, whoever it was. But yeah, Chico's, like I said, I just love to sell it. And I think I had this at 30 or $35, something like that. But yeah, love Chico's. This is the first thing I found as soon as I walked into the thrift store. This is Ariat, and this is actually a dress. I've never sold a dress. Um, I usually sell their shoes. I've also just recently sold some jeans, I think for like $40-ish. The jeans do well. Uh, this is just a fun, colorful Aztec dress probably like knee length in really really good condition i want to say i had this listed around 35 dollars yeah first time ever finding ariat dress i uh, never sold it before so this will be a first for me but i think it's a really cute style so i'm pretty confident it'll do well this next piece is another talbot this is a size 2x and i got it because it was actually new with tags so the tag says it was $89.50, and it's just a really pretty purple sweater, has a cow neck design here. So I'll probably have this listed for around $30. My new with tag Talbots always does well. Here's another Chico's piece. Uh, I found a ton of Chico's. This is actually a silk skirt, and this has a lot going for it. Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to sell very quickly once I list it. Just a brown, long, I'm, I'm going to have to include measurements because this would be a maxi on me, but if you're tall, it probably would be more midi length. Um, but yeah, I think I can use some good keywords. Modest would be a great keyword for this. And just the fact that it's silk. I did try to look it over and see if I saw any stains or rips or anything like that. I didn't. So yeah, really excited about this Chico skirt. I think it'll do well. Probably price it around 30 bucks because it is silk. I love to sell equestrian wear. This is a new to me brand, EIS, um, but it's just like a performance pullover in blue. Just a very thin pullover. I think I have this listed around $30. It has like some sheer right there on the sleeve. But yeah, I love to sell equestrian wear, so I think this will do well. So this next piece is a piece I see at thrift stores pretty often, and I always want to pick it up, and I decided today was the day. I'm going to try it out because I just love the style of this. Um, it is California Dynasty, and it is a vintage nightgown, and it's just really pretty. It's black, and it has this lace up here with a keyhole. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. Uh, it has a bow right there. It's just a long nylon nightgown. Um, I haven't looked up comps yet, but I'm hoping to get around 30 for this just based on style. It's really pretty. Here's another nightgown I wanted to try. I'm definitely trying to get more into the nightgowns, uh, vintage especially. Uh, this is Pinehurst lingerie and it is a pink, it's a size medium pink lace collared long sleeve pink nightgown um it does have some pulls in it so i did have to i'll show you one of them right here so i did have to kind of like note that in the listing uh but yeah i was really excited when i found this i think i have it listed for around 25 dollars. it's really lightweight so Figure, give it a shot. Here's another Chico's Traveler's piece, size three. I'm pretty sure every Chico's piece in this haul is a size three, which is an extra large. Uh, it's just a gray 
embellished long sleeve blouse, wrinkle free. That's another reason why I love to sell Chico's Travelers because you don't got to steam this stuff. It's always going to be wrinkle free. So pretty sure this will go quick, maybe around 25 for this one. These next pair of pants are by Talbot. They are 100% pure Irish linen. They're blue and they have this fun like palm tree print on them. Um, they are flawed. Maybe you can see on camera. I'm not sure. Uh, there is some yellowing, so I'm going to try to get that out. Hopefully it will come out, because if so, I think these will be some fun tropical pants someone can wear on their vacation. Speaking of a beach vacation, here's another swimsuit. This is a swim dress. It's blue, it's floral, it's tiered. I like the high neck look. Really, really cute. It actually has boy shorts underneath. This is a new to me brand, but whenever I looked it up, I did see this has sold several times. I think for around $30, um, fit for you. I'm not sure where that's sold, uh, but yeah, it's in excellent condition. I think it's a size 12. So yeah, you know I picked it up. All right, let me show you the rest of my haul. I have it here in this bag. So this here, I did not have luck getting the flaw out. Um, it is Vince, size medium. It's just a white um, short sleeve t-shirt. Uh, but you can probably see in the ring light, or maybe you can't. There's some yellowing around the neckline, uh, so I did have to, I still listed it. I still list my flawed items. Um, I just listed it, I think, for like $10 or $15. I just got these for myself. They're just a pair of like tan joggers. I think these are by Fashion Nova or something. Oh, Shein, even better. So yeah, those are for me. I think this is a fun vintage piece. Um, I did look up comps on this brand. I didn't see any like great comps, to be honest. Um, it's Cape Cod Sportswear. I don't sell on Etsy just because I'm not really a vintage seller, uh, but this is fun. It's just like a pastel striped polo tee has shoulder pads, so it's in really good condition, except there is some wear around. You can probably see good right there. Um, some wear around the collar, uh, but I think someone can rock this. This is kind of, this is kind of what the kids are wearing these days, so grab that. Here's some more Chico's Travelers. Uh, this is just an open front black cardigan. I'm probably going to list this for around $30. And it has some embellishment along the trim of the open part. Long sleeve in really good condition. So, you know I got it. I think this is the last Chico's Traveler's piece, y'all. Uh, this was fun. I thought about pairing it because it's brown. And I do have two pairs of brown pants. I thought about pairing it with one of the pants in the lot. However, the browns weren't matching up exact. So, I decided to scratch that idea and sell this by itself. But really nice zip up, full zip, has some leopard animal print right there. Long sleeve in great condition. I'll probably list this around 35. Y'all, I thought this was such a pretty piece, but while I was photographing it, I did see a flaw. But I'm confident it will still sell. It's Lane Bryant. I love to get this brand whenever I can get it for cheap because it is a quick mover. So it's a plaid shirt, and then down here at the bottom, it has like this corset detail, really great for fall, uh, but while I was photographing it, I did notice in the back, on the very bottom, there is a hole right there, you can see. So I still listed this, I think, for like $15, and maybe someone can put like a black cami underneath and wear black leggings. You probably won't even notice it. Uh, but yeah, I love the corset detail right here. I thought that was so cute. So I still got it. This next piece is J. Crew size 10. And this is a silk skirt. It's like a black polka dot A-line. Has these uh, cream and uh, pink polka dots in it. In really, really good condition. I've had luck selling J. Crew skirts before. Uh, I'll probably price this around 20 to 25. So I didn't know Ann Taylor Loft had a beach line. Uh, so this is Loft Beach, size extra small. And it is basically a wrap dress. It's short sleeve. It has a little knot right here, a tie knot. 
and then a cutout right underneath it. It's a wrap dress, and I guess you can wear it as a cover-up. I just listed it as a dress because, I mean, I would wear it out, so I think someone else would too. So yeah, here we go. There's the cutout, really cute, and then it does have like a ruffle detail right here at the bottom. So I think I had this listed for 20 or 25. All right, this is my last piece. First time ever picking up this brand. I don't know if I'll pick it up again, but it had a lot going for it. Let me know if you've ever sold this before. It's Cupio, and I got it because it's new with tags. It's a size 3X, and I thought it was cute. I think this would be great for a vacation. Very colorful top, and then it has these big bell sleeves with these little tassels, colorful tassels. Great condition, like I said, brand new. So I did decide to get this and I think I have it listed around 20 bucks. All right, y'all, that's what I got from the Goodwill Outlet Bins in Jackson, Mississippi. Let me know what you guys thought of my haul down below in the comments. I love chatting with y'all and seeing some familiar faces. I do notice your names when they pop up quite frequently, and I love to see that. Also, I'm going to leave Victoria's channel linked in my description box. Make sure to go over, send her some love, and go see what she got for almost the same exact price. Like I said, we were only about 30 cents from each other, so it'll be fun to see what she got. Thank you so much much to everyone who watched this video all the way to the end and I will see y'all in just a couple days for a new fun video. Bye y'all!